Hey y'all, it's your girl TT live from the bathroom. So y'all know I haven't really been on YouTube like that, you know, in the last, you know, a little while, but I'm back and I've been um, asked to do a tutorial on how I do my hair. Um, for those that know me, I do my hair um, very often. I do it myself. I do, uh, I went to beauty school and all that. I do have a master cosmetology license. Um, I just don't do hair for other people all the time. I do have, you know, some clients here and there, but um, I really just kind of do my own hair. I post, you know, stuff on social media and whatnot, you know, of my hair and the past clients I have done. So yeah, just really, this is just really out of request. So what I'm gonna do is some distressed locks. Um, very nice. Uh, the reason why I like locks is because the longer you keep it, the better it looks and more natural it looks. So this is gonna be my style for the time being until I decide to switch it up. And you know, I don't know what the next style is gonna be. It's just gonna be whatever I want it to be. So anyway, so all you really need is wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb for parting or whatever you want to use for parting. Um, you can use like oil and stuff. This is the main choice growth oil. I have some like vitamin E oil. I have sulfur, oops, I have sulfur eight. I have sulfur eight for, um, I have dry scalp, you know, that kind of thing. And you need like butterfly clips or really any type of clips, you know, to keep your hair out of the way. And you need crochet hook. And I am using Bobby Boss New Locks for my locks. And I'm also using a Natural Braid Hair by Femi. Um, 20 inch, 1B, and the other one's 18 inch. So that's basically it, I mean. So we gonna get started. Okay, so all I did was braid uh, my hair into individual braids. I parted them out. They don't really have to be perfect, um, but just part them out in the size that you want. Take the lock and make the hole at the top because it's a crochet. So I just put my finger through there to show the hole where the hole is. I'm gonna put my crocheting needle at the base of my braid and attach the lock to the needle. Close the lock, I mean, close the needle and pull it through. Now I'm gonna take that same hole and put the other end of the lock inside the hole and pull that through and then pull it so that it's secure. And so now I have the lock and I have the braid. So that way it's secure. So now I'm going to hide the braid and I'm gonna take my, well, I'm put my hair back real quick, but I'm gonna take my crochet needle. I'm gonna go maybe halfway down the lock I'm gonna kind of try to shove that crochet needle up in the lock, like inside. So you really might have to kind of unravel it a little bit so that it's a little looser, it's a little easier. Um, it's kind of tricky trying to find your groove at first, but once you find your groove, it'll go a lot faster. So I just kind of try to put that crochet needle in there the best I can. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna shove it up in there as much as I possibly can. And I'm gonna put my braid inside of the crochet needle, close the needle and pull the needle all the way through so that the braid goes inside of the lock. And then I'm, you're gonna probably get like a little bit of um, braid showing up at the front, but that's okay because my hair is um, the same color as my real hair so I can kind of hide it but you can kind of hide it the best that you can then I'm going to repeat the process 
and go a little further down the lock and hide the rest of the braid so that the entire braid is hidden inside of the lock. And so you just kind of do that and then you're going to cover up as much of the braid as humanly possible. You don't want a, like a whole bunch of braid showing, you know, cause then you could tell, you know, but just hide as much of the braid as possible. Um, if you have different color, like if your locks are a different color than your actual hair, then you really want to be careful and like take your time trying to hide your original braid so that people cannot see through um to your hair so if you have to take your time and you don't have to go like as far down as i did you can um you know you don't have to go as far down so that you can hide the braid a little better but because the my hair is the same color as the lock hair then I really wasn't worried about it like that so I just kind of twisted it back in its original direction um, so that it kind of blends in with my hair and so I'm gonna do that one more time but I'm gonna kind of speed it up a little bit just for really for time's sake not too much and if you want to watch it again, feel free to rewind, pause, whatever you got to do. So I started late the previous night and continued into the next day. So I'm just kind of showing you the rest of the process on what I did. It shouldn't really take that long, but you know, I'm kind of a slow hair doer. I just kind of take my time and I wasn't really pressed for time like that. So um, I don't know. It just kind of depends on how fast you are. This could, this may or may not take a long time. It may take longer than others for some. So this is the finished result um, for adding the locks. You can actually keep it like this or you can continue on in what I'm doing and make them more distressed um, looking. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. But you could if you wanted to keep them like this, you totally can. It's a style. Okay, so now on to the distressed part. So as you can see, I started um, wrapping up my locks. So you can kind of tell which ones I wrapped and which ones I didn't. They do look, they look pretty distinct as far as which ones I did and which ones I didn't. Um, the wrapped ones did come out a little longer, so I did get the length that I wanted because the original locks were a little short for me. So I did want them down like a little past my boob. So, um, and it actually ended up coming out longer than that, but that's what I wanted. So that's fine. So I'm gonna start out with my lock. I'm gonna take the curly passion twist hair and I'm going to unravel it and undo it all the way. So it don't take that long, just kind of pull from the middle and just keep on pulling until it's all the way unraveled. Then you're going to grab the hair from like the top where it's very long at the bottom and short at the top like so. Just, you know, not in the middle, but like extremely far to one side. 
So I take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it at the base of my lock. Once again, I'm going to add the curly hair to the needle, close it, and then pull one side through, pour the sh pull the short side through. So you got the short side and the long side. So with the short side, I'm going to wrap it to the left. And um, you can actually wrap it whatever way you want, but um, I like to do it to the left personally. So I'm gonna wrap it all the way down until I cannot wrap anymore. And you'll find your groove, it'll be um, faster, but you know, at first starting out, it's a little slow, but you'll find your groove as to how you wanna wrap and you'll kind of find your rhythm. So then I'm gonna take the long side and I'm gonna wrap it the opposite way to the right. I'm gonna start from the, from the root of my lock and kind of wrap it up there and then I'm gonna work my way down. And you don't have to, you don't have to do it the same way every time because they're supposed to be distressed. They're supposed to be like kind of messy looking. So you don't want to do it all the way the same every time. So it doesn't matter. They don't have to be perfect or anything like that. That's kind of what makes the style. But you're just going to wrap all the way down, all the way down until you have no more lock left. So, and don't mind me, guys. I was working at the time, so I was talking to my coworkers on Zoom. But they can't see me. We don't we didn't have the cameras activated. They could only hear me, and I had my mic on mute um most of the time. Except for when I was talking. I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Okay, so I got to the end. And as you can see, the curly hair, there's more curly hair than not. So I'm going to wrap back to the left in the opposite direction, going back up. So... You wrap to the right initially for the long side. Then when you get to the end, wrap back to the left, which is the opposite, and you're going to go up so that, you know, you don't have more curl than lock, unless you like it that way, which is basically what I ended up doing for some of the locks is I kind of left the, some curl at the end just to, you know, give it a little something, something at the end. You really need nail glue um, to secure the hair to the lock but I forgot the nail glue at the time so I ended up going to the store later to go get some nail glue so for now I just kind of tried to wrap it as tightly as I could and kind of rubbed it a little bit just so it can kind of stay as much as possible but it definitely didn't stay so I would definitely recommend getting some nail glue to secure the hair so, yep. So I'm going to do it one more time on camera. And like I did before, I'm just going to speed it up. So, you know, really for the sake of the speed of the video.
so that's it that's how i do my distressed faux locks um so yeah definitely need some nail glue to secure the ends i really actually low-key like the curlies at the bottom so i'm probably going to keep it like this but i am going to get some nail glue so i can just secure it at the bottom i'm just going to put a nail, little nail glue here let it dry that way they don't unravel all the way but really other than that feeling it feeling it so let me give you a little view of the back here's the back it's nice. I really like it. Goes down to my butt. So I'm cool with that. And um, yeah, guys, like I'm really feeling myself right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go head to the store real quick and go get some nail glue. But that's basically it. So if you guys like my content, um, I will be posting more styles like as I do my hair. So when I do my hair next time, then I'll post whatever that style is, how I'm feeling that day. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope the video wasn't too, too long. And I'll see you guys next time.